the Saskatchewan Rough Riders were Canadian Football League champions in 2007, only the third championship in the team's long history. Their victory in the 95th Grey Cup was the culmination of a remarkable season. Prior to the start of the season, the team hired Kent Austin as head coach. It was Austin's first opportunity to be the head coach of a football team. It was also a return to the team he had won a championship with as a player in 1989. Having had a taste of the playoffs in recent seasons, fans were hopeful that Austin could somehow get their team back in the big game. I think the person that put us over the top in 2007 was, was our head coach, Kent Austin. Um, right from the beginning, uh, when he addressed the team right from day one, um, he told the team that we were going to win the Grey Cup uh, that year and that you know, this was our time and, and, uh, and he got us to buy into uh, his philosophy and his thoughts and he was very confident in what he did and he was confident in us and because he was confident in us we've gained confidence and um, you know, we started off the season real well which he created more confidence with us and we all bought into each other and um, I think that was a big factor in us getting over the hump and uh, finally winning one. Led by quarterback Kerry Joseph, the Riders won seven of their first nine games, their best start since 1976. They finished the season with a record of 12 wins and six losses, good enough for second place in the West Division and their first home playoff game in 19 years. Joseph, who led the team in both passing and rushing touchdowns, would go on to be named the league's most outstanding player at the end of the season. He was really a great leader as far as vocally. I mean, he came in to practice every day early and uh, Ken Austin was hard on him and really challenged him to be the best uh, quarterback that he could be. In the West semifinal, the Rough Riders held off a late charge by Calgary to win by a score of 26-24, their first home playoff win since 1976. The West final found the team in Vancouver facing the Lions. Receiver Andy Fantu scored a touchdown just seven minutes into the game and the Riders never trailed from that point on. Our Western final game against the BC Lions was probably um, the toughest game when we had to go uh, into their stadium and play against uh, you know, 50 or 60,000 fans um, in a place that we hadn't had, had very much success in. Um, I think that that was our, our biggest uh, challenge that year. The Riders then headed to Toronto, site of the Grey Cup game, to face an old rival, the East champion Winnipeg Blue Bombers. It was the first time these two historic Prairie franchises would meet in a championship game. Due to an injury to their all-star quarterback Kevin Glenn, the Bombers were forced to play Ryan Dinwiddie, a rookie with little CFL experience. But the score was close for most of the game. With just under three minutes to play and down by only four points, the Bombers were driving the field. But an interception by the Riders' James Johnson sealed the victory for the Green and White. It was Johnson's third interception of the day, a Grey Cup record, and he was named the game's most valuable player. Teammate Andy Fantus was named Outstanding Canadian thanks to his four receptions for 70 yards and one touchdown, the only touchdown scored by the Rough Riders offense. Kent Austin was named the CFL's Coach of the Year for his part in leading the team to a championship season. It just brings everybody together, you know what I mean? You, you feel like more of a family because you came together maybe as strangers, maybe as friends, but you came together to accomplish a, uh, a common goal and to see it fully fulfilled, there's, there's few better feelings out there. You know, I can remember seeing YouTube videos of people celebrating after the game when we were in Toronto and then of course uh, when we got back I mean the airport just filled so you couldn't even walk through it I mean I think that's about as close as you can to becoming a rock star for a couple days when you come back with the Grey Cup so uh, it was quite the feeling it's something you'll never forget um, you know something you'll have uh, a lifelong memory with and uh, what's nice is you, you have uh, you know your 50 teammates that have the same memory that, that uh, you can always talk to them about it too. And when we had our, uh, our parade, you know, the weather was so cold, we were thinking this is going to be just a bunch of trucks driving down the street, you know, waving at nobody. But, I mean, the fans still line the streets and we're out there just supporting, so happy that uh, we had brung, brung the cup home. And it just shows you how much it means to, to the fans even more so than, than the organization and the players. It's just. It's really a, a, a province-wide pride that goes along with Ryder football. Installed in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame on June 16, 2012, the 2007 Saskatchewan Rough Rider Football Club.